Merry Christmas. It's just a little over a week away, and we still have a lot of things going on here at St. John's as we look forward to celebrating the birth of the Savior. This coming Sunday is the fourth Sunday in Advent. We'll light that fourth Advent wreath candle. As we conclude our Advent series, Why He Came, the, the overall bird's eye view, thousand mile up view of what is God doing by sending his son Jesus to be born in Bethlehem as a little baby. We've talked about peace, we've talked about justice, we've talked about healing, and this week we talk about presence, the present of his presence. Now, spiritually and in the sacrament, but what God's ultimate goal is all about, being in his presence forever in the new creation and the resurrection. So we'll be celebrating that this Sunday. But that's not all this Sunday. Sunday afternoon, 5.30, the Christmas prayer and praise. Another chance to gather here in the sanctuary and sing favorite familiar Christmas hymns in a different rendition than maybe you've heard before because it's going to be led by the worship band, all of it led by the worship band. So that's this Sunday at 5.30. And then a time for fellowship immediately following a spaghetti supper complete with a cookie exchange. So that's coming up this Sunday, a time to come together again, praise the Savior, and enjoy the fellowship. Then we're going to eat again on Wednesday. Wednesday at 6 o'clock is our last Advent soup supper. That's 6 o'clock over in the parish hall followed by worship at 7. And this service for our last Advent midweek service is about counting down the six favorite St. John's Christmas hymns. And I've been compiling that information. If you haven't gotten to me yet, your top five or six Christmas hymns, uh, please do so. You can use the Google form. There's a link to it on our social media and in the eVine, or just email it to me, give me a voicemail, call me up, text me, carrier pigeon, whatever. I just want to hear from you, your favorite Christmas hymns. We'll put that all together. I'll count down the top six, preceded by uh, a little bit about the background and origin of that hymn and the, and the meaning and what it means, says to us today as we sing that hymn. But we're also going to take the, the, every song nominated, and it's going to be in a, we're going to put it out there, I'll tell you what they are, but we'll also publicize and put out there a, a Spotify playlist of all of them, and an Amazon Prime playlist of all that, so you can listen to it while you're opening gifts or getting ready for Christmas dinner. Christmas Eve, two opportunities, four o'clock is the family and, and children service, a service designed especially with families with young children in mind. It's going to be geared for them, complete with uh, concluding with a birthday party for Jesus, birthday cake, and singing happy birthday. And at 7 o'clock is when we bring everything together, organ and choir and worship band and candlelight and silent night and communion, all of it at that service where we'll be celebrating the birth of the Savior. Not done yet. Christmas morning, it is a Sunday this year, 9.30, we'll gather for worship. And again, choir and, and organ and, and communion and, and special music is being prepared. That's Christmas morning. Well, my prayer is that you are all blessed this Christmas as we, we gather to share a meal, to, to sing, to praise, and to receive God's grace and mercy as he comes to us in the word, as he comes to us in the sacrament. May the peace of which the angels sang be yours in abundance this Christmas, in the new year, and forever. Merry Christmas.